Some new parts have just arrived for my carbon fiber road bike build. And honestly, I think that this could be the bargain of the century. Now, cycling is super expensive. So when I saw these come up, I went for it. So let's get them out of the box and I'll explain everything. The box of treats. Now inside this box, I paid a total of 170 pounds for everything. Now you can see straight away, a bit of a giveaway by the shape. We have some wheels. We have the wheels, peeps. So let's, we've got the front wheel as well. So these, believe it or not, despite the unbelievably good packaging, are actually second hand. I say second hand, they were hardly used. They come on someone's bike and they use them just a few times to train on before they swap them out for some zip wheels. We've also got some inner tubes. I tell you what, it's probably one of the best eBay purchases that I've made. It's not a bad sound, is it? We have a Shimano 105 cassette, which is what, 40 quid? Uh, something like that. I'm not sure how it's all in. And we also have Ultegra discs. Again, hardly used. Came with the wheels and the bike, but they were swapped out. Now these are more entry level wheels. I did put a post out a while ago asking people what wheels to get. There was lots and lots of options to be honest. Now, I got these wheels because I want something solid entry level if you like that I don't mind using all the time. I may get some nicer wheels, um, some carbon wheels from a, a Chinese company, um, but we'll see in the future. But for now, I wanted something that I could put on at a good value. And as I said, we can start with the price of these, 170 for everything. So bearing in mind these rotors are what, 30, 40 pounds each, that's 60, 70. The cassettes are 40. So the wheels sell new for around 200, 220. So we got a good deal, we got a good deal. These Vision wheels are alloy construction and they are 35 millimeter deep clinchers. Now the version I have are Shimano and SRAM compatible and I'll be using an 11 speed cassette on this free hub. And as for the spokes, we're looking at a radial lacing at the front, which has 16 spokes and a two to one pattern at the rear with 21 spokes. With each wheel being hand built rather than machine built, which is pretty crazy considering the price that I got these for. Now, Vision themselves say that these wheels are excellent for training or entry level racing wheel set, which is exactly what I wanted, so they are perfect. These wheels also have a wider rim than was a norm on road wheels a few years ago with an internal measurement of 19.5 millimeters. Now, this should give a good shape to the GP5000 tires that I'm going to be chucking on, most likely the 28 mil version. Flip this over, so they are through axles, so we've got 12 mil through axle wheels. Hopefully this is on there pretty loosely. Let's see. Yes. Lovely jubbly. Amazed at the price really. I honestly thought they were going to go for the, the mid 200s. I want to see how much they weigh and see if they are the recommended weight. So you can see it's used slightly, but I mean, that's pretty much new, isn't it, peeps? I mean, come on. We're, we're pretty much new. All right. There we have one. So that is looking good initially. As true as it comes. Straight as a die. Brilliant. And wheel number two. Have the front wheel. Let's see what the bearings are like. Very smooth, super, super smooth. That's not stopping anytime soon. So we've got 40 Newton meters a case, the same as a cassette. So I'm not gonna use my torque wrench to undo this because someone told me off in the comments saying the torque wrench is only for tightening. It's a precision tool. So let's see if we can undo this. Because I wanna take these off because I wanna weigh them. I wanna get proper weights of everything with the wheels so I can show you guys and girls. Okay, that one wasn't on very tight at all. The rotors are very nice indeed. I've always had um, the six bolts. I've never actually had a pair of these, but they're actually super, super smart. They're really light, much lighter than I thought they'd be. Yeah, I really like the style as well. I'm not gonna lie. I want this this new road bike to look good and they're, they're looking really, really smart. Same for this. Chuck that on. Okay, let's tighter this one. 
here we go what i want to do is weigh these and get these prepared i wanted to show you guys that you can actually get good value products you don't have to spend an absolute fortune to get some good deals there's a lot of good second hand stuff that you can buy all right so we zeroed out this is the rear wheel without the cassette so we've got one one eight five one one eight five okay not too sure if that's good or bad i believe 1500 pound 1500 grams for the pair are uh, is pretty good so a bit heavier than maybe some high-end high quality wheels but as i said these aren't those wheels i know that i knew that when buying them all right let's do the front wheel zero that out okay and we got 995 you see that all right yeah 995 all right so not too bad the rotors as well i assume these should be exactly the same i mean they are they are looking good so that's zeroed out so 125 you can see um and then i guess 125 again 125 now let's have a look at the cassette now i'm not too obsessed with weight as i said i think it can be a bit too much and you can worry a lot about the weight of the bike i want it to be strong and robust and if that means it's an extra couple of kilos then i'm okay with that i will do do the final weight at the end so 274 not too bad i assume that's normal i will do the final weight of the bike at the end and um, when it's all built so do subscribe if you want to see that i do also have um videos already which show the the frame the chinese carbon frame etc so if you want to see those have a look at my channel and check it all out i'm documenting the whole build in depth to try and break some barriers and and show people what it's like to buy cheaper components and cheaper parts but so far it's not too bad